Okay, if you're trying to figure out how to add a splash screen or a loading screen, so pretty much if you launch your app, uh, let's click that, and then you saw that quick loading screen, well, this is how you do that. And when you search this up on YouTube, you're going to get all these tutorials, and all of these are wrong to an extent. Because, for example, if you watch this one, it's going to say, oh, go in your actual file, for example. It's like, go into this file right here, and then, like, in your content view, and then in your content view, make, like, your actual, like, icon that you want as your loading screen and then have like a one to two second delay and then present your actual content view like no like all of these say the similar thing and all of them are incorrect to an extent because if you think about what's happening let's say this app right here let me swipe out swipe out just like that and then let's say i relaunch it right you saw that loading screen come up but let's say your app is being like super delayed or the person's phone is just super slow Instead of seeing the splash screen, what they're going to see is a complete blank screen. Because what all these tutorials are doing is that they are saying, hey, present this thing when the first screen loads, as in present the content view and then present that splash screen. But what if the content view just isn't loading at all? Well, that's why with this super short tutorial, it's going to make sure that when the person launches the screen, it will show your splash screen icon instantly like you're not going to get any blank screen or anything at all just like how it is in storyboards and if you guessed where we're going with this we are going to storyboards now hold on before you're like oh shoot i don't want to follow this hold on a second because as you see my project right here completely in swift ui uh you can create a new project entirely but this thing is so simple i'm not going to create a new project but for example, right here is my typical content view. You got everything, whatever. So if you want to add your actual thing, first thing you got to do, click on your project right here. And if you go to general and scroll down, you're going to see where it says launch screen file. And if you click on the thing, you're going to be like, there's nothing there. Well, what you got to do, super simple. Just right click here, do a new file. Where is new file? New file from template. I'm using Xcode beta. That's why it's all confusing. But pretty much from here, because we're not going to be doing Swift UI in the Swift UI because pretty much Apple didn't make a Swift UI thing. You have to use a storyboards thing instead. But pretty much in user interface, select a launch screen. You can always select storyboard, but just do launch screen because it's just easier because it will just automatically sync. So hit next from there and then create, boom. And then you'll see launch screen file. Uh, wait. Give that a second. Yep, launch screen file, you have this. I know it looks really weird having storyboards within the actual thing. You know, it's like, it's kind of stupid, but it works. So now if you go back to your actual thing here, scroll down, uh, that did not select, but click down and then hit launch screen dot storyboard. Good, right there. And now we have our launch screen file. And from here, you can add your asset. If you've never used storyboards before, uh, it's similar, kind of, as in uh, just get rid of these, have your asset in here. Uh, from here, pretty much drag in your asset. You know this part, that's super simple. And then in launch screen, do image. Uh, let's see, image view, just like that. Boom, and then select which image you want. We want this one here. And then add some constraints. So we'll do this, this, and that. Boom, look at that. We have our constraint. It looks really ugly right now, but if you want your icon to be centered, just click on this one here and then do a horizontal in container and add. Pretty much my logo looks a little weird when you make it like horizontally lined up. So that's why I have a like 95 105 thing. But pretty much if you want it higher up on the screen, you can add, uh, wait, we already have this here, and click on here. And then you can just make this like negative 100 and it'll go up on the screen a little. Boom. That's a bit too much for me. So I'm going to do 25. Yeah, that seems about right. Actually, personally, I like it at zero. But my point is you can mess around with it as much as you want. This is just simple basic constraint stuff. But pretty much now this part is done. And now you're probably wondering, okay, well, is it going to work? Well, let's hit launch right here. Let's run that file in. And let's pull up our iPhone mirroring. Uh, let's do that. Give that a second to load. Boom. Just like that. You see how on launch up instantly it's like that. And then give it a second because right now it's like doing all the stuff in the background to like launch the app. And then once you give it a second and boom, look at that. That is how you do it correctly. And if you're wondering, oh, well, what if I 
don't do it like that. What if I follow all these other YouTube tutorials? Well, let's just show what that would actually be like. So pretty much, let's just get rid of our entire file. Let's move that to trash. And then we're not gonna have anything here. Uh, let's click out and click back in of that. Uh, okay, let's just delete that. And then you see right there how it's blank again. And now if you launch it again, so let's hit launch again, replace, and now let's look at this launch up. See how it's completely blank right here while it's loading up. And you're probably wondering, oh, if I follow all the other tutorials, like putting it in the content view, like is wait, you're still going to get this blank screen, then you'll get your splash screen. But if you do it based on actually having a launch screen dot storyboard, like doing it based on this, then you won't have that issue. Let's say like you want an animation where it like zooms in or zooms out after the launch screen has loaded. Then you can follow any of these tutorials here where it adds it to your actual content view. And then it has like the delay where it'll like load up and show me your cool animations. But before any of those cool animations, you want to have the initial launch screen dot storyboard file and then have it show the same image in your content view and then do your animation. Or honestly, you could just have your entire animation in your launch screen dot storyboard, but maybe you don't want to do that because that's a pain in itself. But pretty much don't follow these unless you have your launch screen dot storyboard in or else you're going to get that blank white screen as we showed before. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So take care.